Hi everyone, it's James. You're looking at a board game. This is Mario, and it's called Mario Challenge Super Mario Edition. It's a board game. I highly recommend it. I bought it in Canada, and it was on sale for $29.99. That's Canadian. It says ages 6 to 99. Wow. One or more players. So you can play by yourself if you want to. It's basically the memory game. Concentration. If you can get your hands on this game, get it. It is fun. I like it. My students like it. And kids basically can relate to Mario. This is in English and it's by a company called USA Poly and it's licensed by Hasbro. Power up the world's most popular matching game, Memory. Challenge yourself to the classic game of Memory with a Super Mario twist. Turn over cards and find their match. Pick up an item card to add more fun and challenge. Pick up an item card Pick up an item card to add more fun and challenge. The player with the most matches wins. Okay. Okay, let's get to it. You get instructions. And, and sorry about the cards. I've already opened this a while back. Contents. 52 character cards, so 26 pairs. 20 item cards, so 10 pairs. I'll go over the setup and how to play in a moment. And on the back are the item cards. I'll go over what they do after. I'm going to take the cards out. These are character cards. There are 26 pairs. And these are the item cards. There are 10 pairs. I'll go over the names. First we're going to look at the characters, then the items, and then I'm going to show you how to play this game. This is a fun game for the whole family to play, or by yourself, or with your students, or with a small group of friends. Okay, starting off with Luigi, Wario, Goomba, Bullet Bill, Boo, Babom. Toad, Toadsworth, Bowser, Yoshi, Mighty Mole, Bowser Jr., Cheap Cheap, Mario, Dry Bones, Peach, Toadette, Waluigi, Shy Guy, Daisy, Birdo, Blooper, Donkey Kong, Koopa Troopa, Diddy Kong, Magic Koopa, now let's look at the items. There are 10 pairs of items, 20 cards in total. Yoshi's egg, pipe, fire flower, question block, block, coin, superstar, super mushroom, one-up mushroom, green shell. I'm going to explain each of their powers. Let's look at Yoshi's egg. Yoshi's egg, with this match, you can claim the Yoshi match from another player. So that means if another player has the character Yoshi pair, you can take Yoshi away from them. You must use your item card on the current turn. Let's say that you find this match and it's still your turn and you know that one of the other players has a Yoshi pair, you're not allowed to hold on to it, okay? You have to use it on your current turn. So you swipe Yoshi from another player. Does that make sense? Next is pipe. With this match, mix up any four cards. You mix up any four cards from the pile of cards that are on the table. And you have to use this item card on your current turn. You can't hold on to it. Next is fire flower. With this match, make another player skip their turn. Again, you must use it on your current turn. So let's say that you find this pair. 
you must use it. So the next player will lose their turn, and then it's the next player's turn if there are two or more players. If it's just you and another player, then it's your turn. This yellow question block. With this match, swipe an item match from any player. If you find this pair, you must use it on your current turn. Let's say another player has one of the items. You swipe that item away from them, and then you have to discard this. That doesn't get counted. The brown block. With this match, flip over two cards to remain visible for one round. If a match is made, collect it. So again, you must use this on your current turn. So let's say you find this pair, then you have to flip over any two cards that are on the table. If you find a pair, that's yours, and it's still your turn. If you don't find a pair, then it's the next person's turn. Coin. With this match, secretly look at two cards. Again, you must use this item card on your current turn. You can't hold it. So secretly look at two cards, okay? So you're peeking. Superstar. Invincibility is yours. This card protects you from item card actions directed to you. So let's say one of the players wanted to use the fire flower to make you skip. By, well, by using your star in your current turn, you block it and nothing happens to you. And you only get to use this once. The red super mushroom. With this match, swipe any match from another player. So this only allows you to swipe a character pair, not an item pair. And you must use it on your current turn. You can't hold it. The green one-up mushroom. This match counts as two matches during the final scoring. So let's say that you have 10 pairs. Well, this is two matches. So that is 12, 11, 12. And you can hold this card provided you don't get it swept. The green shell. Make another player discard a match out of play. So if they have character, if they have character, if they have, if another player has character matches, you make them, you make them discard one pair. Okay, and this gets used and this goes out. Yoshi's Egg. With this match, you may claim the Yoshi match from another player. So let's say another player has the Yoshi pair. It's basically swiping Yoshi from them. All right? Pipe. With this match, mix up any four cards. You must use this item on your current turn. Fire Flower. With this match, make another player skip their next turn. Let's say that you find this pair, you're going to make the next person skip their turn. So it's the other person's turn. Or if you're just playing with one other person, you make them skip their turn and it's still your turn. And you can't hold it. You must use it on your current turn. Yellow question block. With this match, swipe an item match from any player. Okay, so if they're holding an item Let's say the Yoshi's egg, swipe it, okay? And this gets discarded. And you can't hold on to this. You must use it on your current turn. And lastly, the brown block. If a match is made, collect it. So on the table, you flip over two cards. If you find a pair, you take them. If you don't, you leave them faced up for everyone to see. And that's only for one round. And don't forget to discard this. You must use it on your current turn. Setup one, mix up all the cards and spread them face down on a flat surface. Two, form nine rows of cards across and eight rows down using all 72 cards. Let's do it. Let's assume that I mixed up all the cards. All right, I've laid them out as instructed. Nine across and eight down all 72 cards, characters, and items. Here's how to play. The player whose birthday is coming up next starts with play continuing clockwise. Players take turns flipping any two cards, picture side up. The cards must be turned over completely so that all players can see them. The game continues until all matches have been made. You can either read this or just trust me. All right, so 
I usually start with the person to my left. That's easier. Let's pretend that I'm playing with three other people. Toadette. Wow, lucky me, Toadette. I know, it's fixed. Okay, that's mine and it's still my turn. And that is faced up. Um, how about here? Peach. Ba-bum. No good. Okay, next player. Okay, next player. Cheap, cheap. Boo. No good. Next player. Yoshi's Egg. Yay! Yoshi's Egg. And I didn't pair. It's your turn. Continue. Coin. Pipe. No good. Back to me. My turn. Yoshi. Yoshi. Yay. Oh no. The next player has Yoshi's egg. Monty Mole. Toadsworth, no good. Now the player with Yoshi's egg will swipe Yoshi. I want to use this item, Yoshi's egg. That person swipes Yoshi and Yoshi's egg gets discarded. Okay. And you just continue playing it that way. And this is how to play memory Challenge Super Mario Edition. Thanks for watching. Get this game if you can. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.